2021 and we are still just as deep in this pandemic as we were last year, if not more. With people spending more and more time at home, it is important for us to understand the impact that space has on the overall mood, behavior and well-being of a human being. I recently moved back from the United States to India to live with my family during the pandemic. And when I came back, our living room looked like this. This room has looked like this for the last 10 years and it was about time to give it an update in the most upbeat and trendy way possible. Hi, my name is Kashmira and I'm an architect and this video is going to focus on how I transformed our living room from this to this. Let's get started. Just take a quick look at the picture of our living room. We have a tiny space, it's only 170 square feet and a part of it is occupied by these stairs. After getting an idea about the feel of the space and identifying some shortcomings of the space, the immediate step for a designer is to move to mood boards. Mood boards are a great way for a designer to organize their ideas and thoughts onto a two-dimensional surface where they can check and see whether certain color palettes, textures, geometric patterns and materials work well together. Upon discussion with my family, we were clear that we were ready to give our living room a trendy, upbeat and an eclectic look. It was time to move on from this tacky looking sofa and really bulky tables which made the room look even smaller. A little bit of history about this project. We initially had a spiral staircase in this living room, but we changed it to a straight flight staircase a few years ago because in this particular situation, uh, a straight flight staircase maximizes the utility of the space and provides an opportunity for additional storage and seating. We have this beautiful arch that connects the living room to the upstairs, but because the door was painted, the arch was not very evident and it needed more definition. In order to bring out the actual shape of the arch, a laminate with a herringbone pattern was introduced along with a small piece of fog glass which added some geometric texture to the door. We do have an issue with, the li with lighting in our house because we are surrounded by trees on all the sides and we live on the first floor. And although the trees do provide a very beautiful shade and sight, they block out the light. Now let's move into the actual design. We knew that we wanted to maintain the earlier look and the feel and the vibe of this room and at the same time we wanted to give it a very trendy and a modern look. And taking this into consideration we decided to move forward with the eclectic style of architecture. Eclecticism is the genre of design where ideas are derived from a diverse range of sources. I was clear that I wanted to buy statement pieces of furniture which would uh, not only serve to the aesthetics of the room but would also serve the utility purpose. This piece of railing has been left away from an old spiral staircase. We updated it to a simple, subtle, contemporary style railing which gives it a modern look and at the same time, now it can actually be used as a railing. Now the most important design decision, this yellow wall. I'm not kidding guys, my parents actually painted an entire wall yellow in color while I was gone. But it doesn't matter because yellow is still a very nice color as long as it serves as a pop of color and it serves as a focal point and it does not just lay entirely flat on an entire wall. This beautiful grey couch is from Urban Living. Then came in this beautiful multicolored patch chair from Fort. I ordered most of these products online. The last piece of seating was this two-seater bench from Fibionic Ray in the color solid blue. I personally love this color because it gives it a regal touch. We repolished our old coffee table 
and next came in the finishing touches. It includes these beautiful rugs, an organization board for newspapers, picture frames, cushions and this beautiful Erica palm plant which serves as a statement piece and the room is ready. We had this old metal shoe case which we have had like forever and we never used it because it looked so ugly. We had, an uh, we had a carpenter come in and he, he covered it up with a wooden particle board and now it looks so much better. And we decided to stick with the earlier design for the TV shelf because I think it looks fine. I mean, you don't have to change everything. That looks fine. The light plays a big part of the aesthetic and it creates this drama every single day and it's such an experiential dimension that one explores even when they're just sitting on the couch and drinking coffee. These few modifications have lifted the overall feel of this space and has given the space a warm and a welcoming feel. With these few modifications, this room looks and feels so warm and welcoming and cozy and the overall experience of a person inside the room is so different than what it used to be earlier. That's it for today's video. Please hit the bell icon and press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.